Lovely Cancerian. and welcome to your November 2024 reading. This is a general reading for you, Cancer. It's a reading for Cancer Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Also, uh, a heads up, my yearly readings, my yearly projection for 2025 is has been posted, is out. If you would like to book your own personalised projection for 2025, you can also follow the link to my website and book that reading from there. That reading has a limited, it's a limited time offer. It runs till the end of January 2025. So if you're interested, please don't miss out. My lovely Cancerian, your channeled message. I've been meditating on your energy and what I'm being told here is that it has been a time of, of readjustment, a time of review. There's There's been this time where you've been able to find that space for you, creating a space where you have been processing and thinking about your direction, what you're wanting in life, what no longer suits you. What no longer sits well with you? What changes need to be brought about? What changes do you need to make in your, in, in your reality, in your everyday? It's been quite profound for you, quite profound. There's been some new realisations that have come up here. Which is, which is moving you into November. And in November, it's about, okay, I want to put in those changes, but it's not about a bull at a gate and let's move these things, let's make these changes, let's change my job, let's retire, I want to retire, I want to travel, I want to have time on my own, um, I want... I want changes, I want to be surrounded by people that really care about me and um, bring me joy, whatever it is for you, whatever shape that takes for you. It, it's, going to start, it's going to start putting that in place in November. However, it's not about rushing these changes. It's about taking them step by step. It's about getting there slowly because I feel like by in, enforcing your will, on, on those around you, on your work colleagues, it, it's not going to work. There's going to be this pushback and resistance. But if it's done step by step, slowly, you're going to get to your destination. Things will pan out for you. Things will work out for you. The changes will come about subtly, subtly. That's where you're going to benefit. Least resistance from outside forces. My lovely Cancerian, let's draw a card from my Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's see what totem, what animal, spirit animal energy you're going to be working with this month. Let's have a look. Ah, the Wolverine. I think you've had the Wolverine before, have you not? Maybe? Memory serves me correctly. Fierceness. Yes, it's about having that determination. So you have that determination. You've got that fierceness, but you don't need to show it all at once. That's, that's your determination. That's your desire to have a particular outcome, to work towards your goal. The Wolverine has got a lot of force behind it. So you have actually got a lot of push. You've got a lot of influence. You've got a lot of ability. There's a, there's a power behind you, but you don't have to use it all at once. You can shield yourself. You can do this gradually. That fierceness comes with that determination, knowing that there, that that bear energy, that bear energy is there. But bears also hibernate. Then they come out and they and they do what they need to do. And so it's about tempering your 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 energy, your determination. You're more powerful than you think. You've got more ability in bringing, bringing in the changes around you than, you than you know. But do it gently, my lovely Cancerian. Let's create the Celtic cross for you and let's see what is coming up around you. Here's some cards for you. 
Okay, let's see. Give me a minute to create this for you. Right. A lot of water energy around you. That's your element. That's where you're most comfortable. That's where you achieve the most. Ah, oh, beautiful. I like this. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. The first card you've got here is the Ten of Fire. And so this is that processing. What have you learnt um, from life? What have you learnt from um, your experiences? What have you learnt from what has, what's gone on, what's transpired? What obstacles have you had to overcome? What have you put up with, my lovely Cancerian, as well? What is it that you've put up with? This has come to a close here. So in November, this is very much your channeled message. In November, it's about, okay, all these things have happened in my past, but that's brought me to where I am. And what are you deciding because of your past experiences, because of knowing what you don't want, to know what you do want, what's going to suit you at this particular phase in your life? because that has influenced your decision making absolutely as it does for everyone it's our past experiences that influences the decisions and choices we make in the present so i like that you've also got the star here and so this is about wish upon a star this is about being you know having that that whole view of where you're headed, what you want to achieve, the goals that you've set and the time frames that you're, you're going to um, achieve them. This is what you're doing at the very beginning of November. It's about what are your desires, what are your wishes, what changes do you want to put in place, what, what goals are you, are you setting knowing that you can achieve them. So there is this, this clear vision that you have that's coming up for you. Things are going to be very clear. There's going to be clarity around you at the beginning of November. I like that. With you know, For whatever stage you're at, whatever decisions you're needing to make, there's going to be a clarity in those decisions. You've also got the four of water, and the four of water is, okay, you see this again is looking at, I've achieved this, 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 this. What have you achieved already? But there's some inner desire here. There's some something that you have been thinking about, something that you have been processing that you want to bring down into your reality. Well, it's time now to do that. It's time to bring that into your reality. It's time to um, achieve that. And you know it. You know it. And this comes about from, you, you know, what are your desires? What are your wishes? What, what far-reaching vision do you have? It's time now to bring, bring into your reality what you have been processing. The time of thinking about it, withdrawing into your shell, finding that seclusion, that's done. It's now time to take action and start manifesting it. But doing it slowly. Don't do it in a rush, step by step. You've also got the king of air, so you're very much in control of your thoughts. You're not being influenced by other people. You're not being influenced by externals. These are the choices and decisions that you're making yourself, that you're deciding upon yourself. And you're feeling really confident about these choices and decisions, but there's also a confidence in the communication, how you are presenting these, these decisions um, to others, how you're communicating these things to others. It could be the written word, it could be the spoken word, but it's also the thought process. This is all about thinking, new knowledge, thought processes, communication. You're in control and you know you're in control. You're feeling really strong about the choices that you're making this month. You've also got the seven of water. And I like this, the seven of water. This is about your inner desires, your thought processes. This, this You've done a lot of self-reflection. A lot of self-reflection, a lot of um, thoughts and ideas you know are going to come, intuitively you know they're going to come about. 
You have really given these things and you're going to continue to give these things a lot of thought. These are not plans and goals that are set. They will um, be tweaked, they will change, you will refine them as the month goes on. So there is also still a time of self-reflection here for you, a time of um, your, your thinking. What are all your plans? What are all your thoughts? What do you know intuitively? Um, what are you processing on? An, and it's also um, in that intu intuitively you know, absolutely you know the direction you're wanting to move in. You've also got the five of air. Now, the five of air, you may um, through mid-November come up with some, uh, some blocks. It could be others that are resisting your decisions and choices. I feel like there's people around you that don't want you to change, don't want you to make these new decisions, don't want you to create this new reality for yourself. There's a shift in you. It doesn't necessarily mean you're leaving a situation, but you are um, asserting yourself a little bit more. This is what I need. I'm not accommodating. You're not going to be accommodating others as much at all. It's, it's your turn to shine here. It's what do you want? But this could create some waves. It could create some resistance. But it's nothing that you can't overcome. I don't feel like it's anything huge. I don't feel like it's anything that's going to really prevent you from moving forward. It's simply people putting some uh, resistance in your way, in your path. It could also be that what you want to improve implement what you want to establish what you want to move into there could be some things that you need to iron out there could be some things that you need to work through um, and if it if um, if you're needing professional assistance if you're needing you know a lawyer or a psychologist or a, a, a an electrician or a plumber or whatever it is for you whatever you need to overcome these little bumps in the road Help is there. Help is around around for you to support you. There are also those around you that will support you as well. <clears throat> You've also got the four of earth. And the four of earth is you um, holding on to your resources. So for some reason, there's a need to really be mindful about your resources. And your resources are your skill, your knowledge, your finances, your um, assets, whatever it is for you. But there's something here that you're holding on to, that you're being mindful about, that you're working out. It's not a time for overspending either. It's not, don't, don't make any big purchases in November. The time will come when you can do that. But you're really um, protective of what is yours, what, what resources are yours. What, it could be not giving away your knowledge, not giving away your skill for nothing, but being, uh, having that balance, that exchange of energy and money is energy. Not being taken advantage of is what I'm hearing here as well. Not being taken advantage of. You also have the high priestess. Now, I don't feel like you're going to be taken advantage of because your intuition is heightened. You're going to have a sense of knowing here. There's going to be a communication with your guide, so your dream life could be very active. You could just have these inspirational thoughts. These pearls of wisdom could be dropped into your aura that you pick up on. So it's it's very much about tapping in, tuning into your intuition, making choices on an intuitive level. How does it feel? How does your body speak to you? What in what's your inner voice saying to you? Could even be that you're hearing spirit or you're seeing the synchronicities that spirit is laying in your path. So you know what direction to move in. You know what you're doing. There's also the justice card here. So there's some sort of fairness that's happening here. There's some sort of um, fairness or, or, or balance that's occurring here because justice is the scales. It's also legal. It's also things to do with the legal field. It could be signing a lease, signing a contract. It could be a settlement of some sort as well. Um, but there's something to do with the law here or there's something to do with you balancing things out in an unbiased way, in a very um, logical, equal sort of way. 
because justice is blindfolded, you see. Justice is not and it doesn't make emotional decisions. You're making decisions that are fair, that are logical, that you're really evaluating if it's not something to do with the law for you. <clears throat> and I feel like it, it, things will work out for you here. It's about remaining very calm and cool and not employing emotions at this particular point towards the end of November, but rather looking at things in a logical way. Then your final card is the Eight of Water. So there's things that you're turning your back on, things that are no longer serving you. Uh, it could be attitudes, behaviours, cycles. It could be a job. It could be um, people. It could be where you live. It could be any number of things for you. They're, you're all very different and at different stages. But there's something here that you're leaving behind to move forward, to proceed, to take you to where you're headed. Your ship's coming in, my lovely Cancerian, uh, it, to, to be transported into, an eight is a very fortuitous number. And so don't hesitate to um, shed what's no longer relevant, to bring in what is new, what is a, a new way of being, a new reality that's coming up here for you. But it's about patience because you see, you've got to wait for this ship to come in. It's about patience. Patience, slow and steady. Slow and steady. It's a slow and steady month of really working out, calculating things. Not, make, not making choices and decisions in haste, my lovely Cancerian. Let me draw a card for you from my Divine Abundance deck. Let's see what your mantra is for this month. It's quite a good month for you. Gee whiz, you know, you've really come to some realisations here. Okay, what have you got here? You've got the Lyrebird. Good fortune, good fortune. Uh, you've got, it's extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honoured. And that's what you're doing in November. That is very, very, here's a synchronicity for you. That is exactly where you are. It's an extraordinary month for you to discover your uniqueness. Who are you? What do you want? Not being pulled in the direction of where other people want you to be. I love that for you, my lovely Cancerian. I wish you love, light and many blessings. I wish you good fortune. If you would like to book a private reading with me that's specific to you, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Also, don't forget the yearly reading is available for purchase, your own personalised reading, until the end of January 2025. Blessings to you, my lovely Cancerian.